Now behold the Lamb, the precious Lamb of God, born into sin that I may live again, the precious Lamb of God. For your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, I'm CJ. For your quick news and notes, according to an LA Times report, John Jones would defend his UFC 205-pound title against Chael Sonnen on April 27th, and both fighters will appear as coaches on The Ultimate Fighter. Almost four years to the day from when they met in an epic cruiserweight world championship fight, Thomas Adamek and Steve Cunningham are going to meet again as heavyweights this time around, and they will fight in a scheduled 12 rounder on December 22nd at the Sands Casino Resort in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Daniel Jell will defend his two alphabet belts against Australian countryman Anthony Mundine, a former superweight cruiser titleist, in what will be a major fight in their country, and the fight will occur in late January on a day to be announced at an Australian site to be determined. Ferrari extended Felipe Massa's contract for one more season Tuesday, a move that keeps pressure on the Brazilian to perform for the Formula 1 team. Dale Earnhardt Jr. met with renowned concussion specialist Dr. Michael Collins at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center for its medicine concussion program Tuesday. And because of Dale Jr.'s concussion, NASCAR is reviewing with its medical experts all aspects of how it deals with concussions, including baseline testing that IndyCar series and other contract sports use. Dr. Eric Warren has been hired as a new director of competition at Richard Children's Racing. Multiple sources told ESPN.com on Tuesday. Phil Mickelson, who overshot the big money targets on his 100-yard shot at halftime of Monday night's Broncos Chargers game, still raised $50,000 for First Book, a nonprofit organization that provides new books for needy children. Simone Augustus of the Minnesota Lynx, with her home state of Minnesota considering a constitutional amendment that would ban gay marriage, the Lynx star is now becoming a vocal proponent of equal rights for gays. The University of Connecticut plans to break ground in the spring on its new basketball training center after raising $24 million toward the construction of the building. Penn State would not renew the contract of athletic director Tim Curley, which expires in June, who has been on leave since being charged last year with perjury and failing to report a child sex abuse allegation against Jerry Sandusky. Two police agencies are investigating whether Idaho State head football coach Mike Kramer's two-handed push of wide receiver Derek Graves during a recent practice constitutes criminal behavior. Former LSU cornerback Teron Matthew might have violated NCAA rules by promoting a nightclub when he was still a member of the team. Sports Illustrated reported South Carolina defensive tackle Kelsey Quarles could face discipline for punching LSU offensive lineman P.J. Longeran during last week's game. The national coordinator of the NCAA football officials said the decision to uphold the ruling on the field for the last play of a Stanford Notre Dame game was correct. As NHL players head to Europe to try to find work during the NHL lockout, Montreal Canadiens forward Max Pacioretty is coming home as he is dealing with minor injuries and decided that he'd be better served recovering in North America than Switzerland. Hall of Famer and former St. Louis Cardinals great Ozzie Smith is selling his 13 gold gloves, 11 of his All-Star Game rings, and more than 100 pieces of memorabilia from his personal collection in a Nova online auction as part of his estate and family planning. And finally, Atlanta Braves catcher Brian McCann could be ready for the first month of the 2013 season after having surgery Tuesday for an injury to his right shoulder that hampered his hitting this season. This Sports Summit was sponsored by Naturally Relaxed Massage, where you can relax, release, and relieve naturally in the greater Houston area. For raising more information, please email naturallyrelaxed at gmail.com. To have your company sponsor a sports segment, please email me at cj at cjsports.com for more information. To catch archives of your spiritual sports segment, log on to my innovative blog site, cjsports.com, and make sure you give me that follow on Twitter at cjsports. That's C-E-E-J-A-Y. Tune in next time for more updates on your next spiritual sports segment, where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and have a positive, productive, blessed day. And I leave you with namaste as the divine in me salutes and honors the divine in you.